Uh, from the top, you can see that the circuit actually begins here, and it splits off in two different directions that wrap around the entire top portion of the storage room where the pistons are. I've put repeaters here and given each a delay of one so that they don't fire off at the same time. Technically, these repeaters aren't uh, necessary at all. But uh, putting these repeaters here helps the compensate for server lag on multiplayer servers. Edward and I have uh, discovered that if you do things too fast on a multiplayer server, the circuits have a tendency to break just because of the lag. So uh, each bank of pistons has a repeater before it with one notch. And when you do that all the way around, it also creates a sequence so that they close in order with a, a slight delay between each, and it gives it a really nice effect. But from each of the repeaters, I've just run the wire over the top of the bank uh, of pistons, and then that process continues all the way around through the top until both meet over here on this side where it ends. And when you flip the lever again, the power is taken away, and so the pistons automatically um, retract in the same order because of the delay on these repeaters. The middle section that runs just below that is the same. It has the repeaters going in the different directions all the way around, and the blocks that the wire is running over are attached to the pistons in the middle, though you can't see those. Trust me, they're there. So the top and the middle, done exactly the same way. The bottom is only slightly different. As you can see here, there's a lever, which you can't see from the inside on the other side of that wall there. And that's attached to these wires. And it's split into two different directions, one that goes to the middle and the top, and one that spirals down into the basement. Let me show you that basement. And the bottom is pretty much the same. Here's the wire that spirals into the basement. I could have cleaned this up a little bit, but again, I was too lazy. The wire just wraps around the outside wall of the basement, doing the same thing that it does on the top and the middle. But here on the bottom, we have the repeaters running directly into the blocks that are attached to the pistons, as I showed you outside. And then we have the red wire running into that. And of course, each of these has a one notch of delay, so it fires in the same sequence, the middle and top, which means the top, middle, and bottom pistons will fire simultaneously on each bank of uh, pistons hiding everything at once and uh that's pretty much the gist of it there's really not much else to uh say about that it's pretty simple to uh to accomplish the biggest problem or the biggest hurdle that you'll run into is that unless you're using a cheat program as i did to construct this mock-up you're going to use a lot of resources and a lot of time very simple to do but aggravating because there's little tricks that you have to learn how to use to get everything to fall into place. This number of chests, typically I would have signs in between each chest that uh, show what the contents are, but because the stairs are there and the stairs get pushed, the signs will pop off, so that's not a not uh, something that you can do with this particular setup. You can place the signs elsewhere, I guess. But uh, typically it would require a ton of wood and obviously a ton of cobble. Everyone that has played with me will tell you that I love using cobble, especially with this texture pack. Very much. And also, I'd like to say that uh, this storage room idea was not originally mine, at least the layout of the, the chests. I learned the trick of the stairs on top of the chests. Uh, from Garth RS, the tireless adventurer, rur, 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 rur. and I'm not certain if he took the idea from somebody else or not, I could be mistaken on that. But all I've done is um, elaborate that a little bit by adding that piston system that allows you to lock everything down, that keeps kleptos out of my goodies. Keep my junk in my trunk. And with that, I guess we'll sign out. Get your craft on. Activado. Desactivado. Activado. Desactivado. Activado. Desactivado. Ahem. Uh, oh, hi. Uh, yeah, in the last video, we forgot to mention that 
with all of these projects that we're doing, we provide the schematic files for you guys to download. So anytime you see something that you want to um, incorporate into your own maps, make sure you check the description for the download link and uh, everything will be there for you. But keep in mind that if you're downloading those schematics and you're using World, Ed World Edit to put those into your own maps, that when you paste them in, the pistons, torches, switches, and other things may have a tendency to um, paste incorrectly. For instance, the biggest problem is pistons being upside down. Um, so you may have to manually break those and reset them yourself. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can really do about that right now, but uh, maybe in the future. I don't know if that happens with MC Edit, just World Edit and Bucket. Yes, and also if you rotate using World Edit, your stairs will also be facing different directions, usually north. Oh yeah, stairs. And torches too. Torches are a pain. Uh, trap doors also, usually they look like they were uh, pasted correctly, but when you go to use them, they break off, so you might want to check those as well.